guests today we have with us the Mauna Conditioner a podcasting microphone i'm really excited for this one and this is the XLR version so there are a lot of USB versions out there in the market the reason i want XLR because in future you can literally add it to a mixture and it works with XLR to 3.5 mm it means i can connect to my smartphone which is very useful particularly because i shoot everything from an iphone i have iphone 11 and iphone 15 so it'll be great addition to the audio quality so let's level up audio quality of a channel and i ordered this from amazon and surprisingly there's no outer packaging i don't know why amazon is doing these days as you can see they just type the amazon packet and the invoice here and literally uh, they just bundle it this way now you can see the seller tape is stamped and everything i didn't like the how amazon is handling packaging these days uh, old amazon was really good you can see it's manufactured by Guangdong uh, something and this is from China by the way um and you can see made in China and this is a 70 decibel uh SN ratio that's 3 milliamps of electrical current and the color is black with the material metal and you can see the sensitivity is 38 decibels and plus minus 3 decibels now literally is the first time buying a microphone to be honest like i just bought uh i have uh, two two uh, basically microphones so one is the boya lapel mic and the other one is this also boya uh shotgun mic both are really good but i bought something podcast and boya uh, is getting really expensive and mono is something which is recommended by one of our friend texas sharu so i thought let's give go go and the quality seems to be good and i got it for really good deal like let's unbox this one there's no seal surprisingly this is little bit little bit looking scary a little bit But there you go. You have nice box. You have the user manual, and you have happy. So you can give feedback to them. Um, actually, you don't know how to use this one, but basically, you have microphone cable. You have stand, the pop filter. You have shock mount. You have anti-wind foam cup. You have table clamp, which is useful. And you have wire adapter option. Pretty good. So uh, you can see the frequency response and everything. Pretty good. I hope there's software or something like that. um and you see the microphone placement as well uh, it should be relatively uh, aligned but not too close so that's really good and you have pop filter as well so I'll at- attach the pop filter basically pretty good let's go ahead you have the pop filter as well nice and this is metal by the way so this is metal uh this is nice soft a cloth type material and you have the clamp to connect the pop filter You also get this cushion filter. You can see now inside is this big setup here. The first important thing is the microphone itself, which is really good. It's all metal, guys. Super high quality. It says mono. There's no buttons, nothing. It's just basic insular microphone. Uh, pretty good. So it's hopefully it will work with my phone. I'm not sure uh, because I bought the XLR version just because I wanted to work on the phone. and uh you have this XLR to 3.5 mm phone jack as well as you have this um this audio video separator to 3.5 mm as well which is useful so if you have a microphone or maybe a system that accept two inputs you can have a adapter that actually goes through it i'm not sure how you will connect this to this because this is XLR to 3.5 mm and this is audio l and r to 3.5 mm need to check the manual for that uh you get the stand itself pretty good you have the table clamp here this all if this is plastic by the way this is metal rod but this is plastic this is metal but this is oh this is also metal inside is plastic so yeah, it's a quite good mixture of metal and plastic but mostly it's metal only and this is the main uh table clamp and it should get really really long that's really good guys it's super super durable and you get this nice macron uh, mono table uh, cable arrangement tool what you call it zip wrapper uh it's really good let's set up this and we'll be back so let's start with the setup So this is the main rod. I will extend this. You can see the two ends. So one is for the table, and the other end for is for the microphone. We will use a table end. We connect the cable clipper here. 
So just close the switch and you can actually lock in, in place. So I've used tripods in the past so I know how these things work generally. Uh, but it's, it's good, it's easy. I haven't referred to the manual, so maybe I might do something wrong, not sure. So you have this, which actually goes directly here, as you can see. So we'll extend this a little bit. There's everything in, uh, within 2000, 3000 is really good deal, guys. Because this sand itself is cost like 1000 rupees. So basically you're getting this microphone really really cheap. There's a gaming uh, mic as well and it looks really cool but, but I didn't want to go that way because that was USB and I want XLR. So it seems to be working. So we have a microphone connected here which we will connect it directly here. Okay so this is actually to enlarge it. So in this way once you Put it inside, it should lock in the place. There you go. So I will hold the microphone, so it can hold the microphone. It's really good, you have the XLR cable. So I can connect the XLR cable here. As you can see, so this only goes one way. There you go. Now I have 3.5 mm, which can, I can connect to my iPhone. So let's try this up. And by the way, we also have a pop filter, which we will connect it afterwards. So guys, this is how my setup looks right now. As of now, there would be some changes. And this audio is coming from the microphone I've connected uh, via the original Apple adapter because the normal adapter was not working. So I have to buy uh, 800 rupees original Apple adapter, a Type-C to 3.5mm. And this microphone started to working. Just to ensure whether this is connected or not, I will just tap on this a little bit and there should be some noise. Okay. So this is how it sounds. Uh, I would say the sound is pretty good. It's similar to my Boya Cardoid microphone. It's just that it's a longer, it has all the setup and everything. And uh, it has a longer cable. So that's pretty much for the unboxing and initial impressions. Uh, if you want to buy the link, the links in the description below. If you want an in-detail review, let me know. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.